Hey guys, Gecko here, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm doing a personal commentary. Now, um, I just, I didn't just record this. This is kind of some old gameplay. I was going to record some Destiny and talk over that a little bit, but I absolutely hate the PvP in that game, to be honest. I'm not very good at it. It just doesn't suit me as well as Call of Duty does for a player versus player. Um, I much prefer, like, the strikes and stuff, but I couldn't find any good strikes to record some gameplay on, so I'm using some older COD gameplay. But anyways, that's besides the point. Today, I'm going to be talking about introverts and extroverts. Yes, um, if you guys don't know what introverts and extroverts are, well... You probably should, and, well, okay, maybe not, but most people probably know what they are, especially, like, adults and stuff, but if you're still young, then okay. Um, and, like, people my age, some of them don't know what it is and stuff, but normally, as you get older, you'll probably hear it more. Um, an introvert is somebody who gets their energy from being alone. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean they have to be really antisocial, but a lot of the times, they'll, you know, get tired from talking to people. That's just how they are, you know? And so they'll go and they'll read a book or something or, you know, play like a video game by themselves or something to kind of relax and, you know, recharge a little bit. And then people who are extroverts get their energy from talking to people. They love talking to people. It doesn't matter whether... Now, everybody falls somewhere on the scale. Not everybody is an extreme introvert or an extreme extrovert. That's just... You can't be... People like that would be locked up in a mental mental hospital because they would either have to constantly have attention or they would never want to talk to anybody in the entire world which would be insane and yeah um but being an introvert doesn't necessarily make you shy although some of them are just because when you get your energy from being alone and you like being alone that tends to lead to being shy but sometimes you know and then you know like me when i was a little kid i'm an introvert which is kind of weird considering 70%, well, most studies suggest that 70% of people on the earth, um, especially in America, because we're really like an extroverted society in America, um, about 70% of people are extroverts and only 30% are int introverts. So, yeah, as a kid, I used to like to read books a lot and stuff, and I eventually got kind of made fun of at school and stuff, and that kind of led me to try and be more social, and, um, first I was kind of socially awkward but I've gotten used to it and stuff you know but you know there are other people who aren't so much like that um I was very introverted there are people who are like right on the line and stuff extroverts tend to really like parties and stuff as well um while introverts don't necessarily dislike parties all the time but a lot of times they can get tired of just talking to everybody at parties and there will be like a lot of people there and they just get tired of being surrounded by people like the whole time and but if there are people there who are really interesting, especially people they know, um, then it's, you know, they can enjoy a party if they're talking about something interesting. But introverts tend to not really like small talk. They tend to really like only talk about, like, you know, in-depth things. And their friends tend to be, well, not necessarily, but most introverts' friends tend to be more like close friends. You know, they have more of a few close friends than a lot of of others and that of course depends on what kind of like personality you have as well there's this cool test if you guys haven't heard of it called the myers-briggs test and it basically tells you what kind of personality you are i'm an infp right okay i got that right sometimes i mess it up sorry um but that's introverted um intuitive feeling and perception so um, and I could totally go into depth about what all of that means, but you guys should take it if you're like interested in that and stuff, but People who are introverts tend to be more, you know, close. So schools and stuff tend to favor the extroverts a lot, especially in today's day and age. And a lot of times if you're an introvert, you're expected to act like an extrovert. People think being really, really social all the time makes you smarter or makes you a better person. It actually doesn't all always a lot of people who are together a lot tend to copy each other and that leads to and a lot of studies prove that that just leads to people copying off of each other and never having their own true ideas now this of course is not always the case if you're a really strong individual that's definitely not the case but it leads to less people having their own individual ideas so sometimes if somebody would split from a group and then come back and talk about their own ideas it might be better but if you're an extrovert sometimes that's not your favorite thing you prefer to talk to people more, but definitely for introverts, that's a better thing. If you've ever been in school and they're like, oh, you can work with other people, 
and you would rather work alone on your own project, you're probably an introvert. That's me. I definitely, I just like working alone on projects and stuff, just because I can be with my own thoughts and I don't have to worry about what everybody else thinks all the time. And it just makes me get stuff done quicker because I don't have to worry about what everybody else thinks of and I just kind of like it better. It helps my thinking process more. But extroverts really like to bounce ideas off of other people and work together a lot. And you know, that doesn't mean necessarily that introverts can't or anything, but they just don't like to as much. It's just not how they think. It's not that they can't function that way. It's just not how they think. So yeah, that's pretty much that. I'm probably going to end off this commentary here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know uh, what you think you are, if you're an introvert or an extrovert. Um, yeah, I really like talking about this stuff with people. Most people are extroverts, and uh, there's definitely nothing wrong with that. I am biased because I'm an introvert. Just like if I liked one football team and you liked the other, then um, we would probably fight over which one was better. But yeah. I'm not even really that into football, so probably not. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace, guys, and stay reptilian.